too. I got a cool um, pouch for Christmas that contains all kinds of memories and places and time. Uh, I got it from my friend Mari and Janet, and it's bearskin, which is pretty cool. So it's like tough and soft at the same time. I'm just gonna go through all the stuff and see if I can remember exactly what and where they came from because it's quite a bit of stuff. And they also made me earrings with skulls on them because I'm a daikini, so. Um, I'll start with, this is the Tibetan home scroll. And it explains all about it, which the scrolls out and then. <laughs> so basically it just says uh, Tibetan home. Jewel of Enlightenment is, Jewel of Enlightenment is the heart lotus which is on my back. Um, translation for the Um Pani Padme Hum mantra is the Tibetan Hum is one of the most and best known Tibetan symbols and part of the ancient Tibetan mantra. Um, pa um Mani Padme Hum or Um Mani Padme Hum according to the Tibetans, the Buddha instructions for enlightenment are concealed inside this mantra. <sighs> Keep dropping it. Anyway, um, the Om Mani Padme Hum mantra helps us to detach ourselves from the illusion of words and sounds that surround us. It helps us to see the, the words that they really are, they are empty. So, that's fun. I really like that. Um, they put hoops in here because they said that everything is a circle, everything has to revolve. And plus, Mari was like, well, Every girl needs more hoops. So that happened. And then they gave me these feathers, and I can't remember the birds, like, type of birds, but um, I know one of them's a hawk. Not not this one. This is something else. And this is only in Arizona, this bird. And then they got me a red hawk feather. But not the uh, feather, the red feather, just this feather and then a down feather from a red hawk. Which is really cool. And then they got me crystals. And this is just stuff that they had that they thought I would need at some point. If I can get all the crystals out of here. So basically, I get my hand high enough. You have Vajra as the round crystal. And then Buddha as the white murky crystal. Let's see if I can go around. And then Padma. Karma. And they go around they go around the center. You can see that. That's pretty cool. I might put that on my uh, my warrior crown thing. And there's more skulls because every time you met a daikini you have a skull. So that was really cool. And then um, I have a scarab, and it has uh, hieroglyphs on the back that I'm going to have to decode at some point. And it's a bead, so I can string it on something. And an acorn from their backyard, which is pretty cool. This one I really like. This is uh, the healing hand, and it has, on uh, both sides, has the star in the moon for healing energy. And it has a uh, henna on the fingers. So, and apparently Mari carried this around with her everywhere. She wore a necklace. She wore a bracelet, so it would it would cusp her hand kind of like that. And then they gave me uh, what's this stuff called? Tur turquoise because it's healing. I can't remember the healing power. I have to look it up. It's some healing power that's really cool. Uh, for a part of your body. I want to say like the stomach area or something, but I might be wrong. And now, so I can see in the night. That was cool. And this is a heart. And it's an open heart. <laughs> and uh, she used to wear it on her bracelet as an open heart. Which is cool. 
and they gave me a fortune. Happy news is on its way to you. Yeah, you can't see that. And then the divine feminine, of course. There's the friend. That's cool. It has the dark side and then the light side. So. And then this is a bead that's a bunch of mirrors to show you the different, um, all the different views of you. Mm -hmm. Alright, we got uh, earth, fire, wind, water. And then I got other rocks and crystals um, from Santa Fe, which is pretty cool. So yay, I remembered all of them. Awesome. Thank you.